Hello once again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, off camera today on the face because I know the toys are more important. So today I'm going to do a an, uh, more, I, I can't say vintage, I guess I'll have to say I'm going to do a slightly not quite new but not yet vintage unboxing with two items. We have the one of the Star Wars Evolution items. This is the Rebel Pilot Legacy. This is um, a... 2000 and are they going to tell me? I think it's 2008, but I don't want to say without being absolutely certain. 2008, I nailed it! Yes, 2008, woohoo! Okay, and then we also have one of the titanium figures, okay? And this one is a little bit older, I think. Uh, 2000, let's see, 2006. All right, so why don't we start with, actually we're gonna start with the titanium today because the box is kind of on its way open already. Sometimes unboxings happen because I want to and sometimes it's because the boxes have been damaged and I just wanna get it kind of out of the way. These are, uh, these, you know, I, I've said this on previous episodes, I like these, I don't love these only because they are a little bit challenging to um, to get out. Like it's kind of, in in it's interesting. It's like, it's almost like, I think Hasbro sometimes designs figures to stay in the package. You know, they put really interesting design, they put really interesting box art, which I totally love. I think that's fantastic. But I also feel like then when you take it out and you can see here, there is still a package here, but this is not gonna get getting rid of. But I am going to very quickly um, take the plastic inside out. There's a there's a soft plastic that they are using to keep General Grievous kind of forever in in one position. And I don't really feel it's necessary because I think what ends up happening, at least with what's happened with some of my other pieces here, is that this piece of plastic has actually come off and you know it's not good. So it starts to bend the figures and stuff. I think it's I think it's a cool it's a cool concept. And I'm sure that as the Oops. I'm sure that as the, come on, get in there, my friend. There you go. There it is. So I'm sure that as the, uh, you know, years go on, you know, I might have to open this up to, you know, fix the lightsabers and everything. It is a posable figure, so you can change the posing, right? And it does, this one only includes, looks like it only includes two of Grievous's arms, or, or, or shall I say, his arms that have not been broken off into four arms yet. So two lightsabers, two arms. Um, it doesn't look like the legs are posable. Looks like they are static or, or static at least maybe at the hip joints they're okay. Um, I don't plan on taking it off of this just because I kind of like it on this this little stand. I have plenty of figures that are loose. I have plenty of Grievous figures. So I'm going to kind of keep it like this. Now I have to probably prop the, I have to prop the lightsabers a certain way. That works, okay. Now if I can just do this <laughs> without making his lightsabers fall off and then I have to undo it again. But we shall see, I'm just gonna get this. And you know, one of the uh, greatest things you can have if you're an unboxer or if you're somebody who likes to fiddle around with your toys is a screwdriver. And, and because between battery replacement it's, and uh, just little odds and ends like this. Sorry about the glare there. But there he is. General Kenobi. It has his little label on that. It's got the titanium series on the back. Really cool. All right, moving on. And now we have the evolutions. You know, the evolutions, I mean, you know, with all the new things that are coming out, I mean, you know, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, they have Mando Mondays now. And, you know, I, I, I applaud, um, Hasbro for really working hard to try to keep the pro, pre, keep the whole thing alive. I really do applaud a lot of the announcements they made. Uh, they've talked about holiday themed figures. They've talked about um, a whole slew of new releases and a whole slew of un, you know previously unreleased or or some repacks, some repaints, some resculpts of the head with the with the 3D imaging. Is it as much as we normally get during a year when we have a movie? Of course not, and and nor should it be. I mean, I think that they need to do something to keep it keep the um, line going without uh, doing um, too much. But, you know, right now we don't even have an animated show 
really, except for that Bad Batch series coming. So this is all back in the time of when the Clone Wars came out. So there was always something. So this is uh, not even related to Clone Wars. This is just a series of different types of pilots. And it even shows you, like if you look on the back, you can see here that it actually has the names and the original places. So what I'm actually going to do, when I have situations like that, what I sometimes like to do is actually, I like to, oh, I like to cut out and score out the names because you know we all know who Luke is. You know we, you know, but when it comes to Kessen Umis from The Empire Strikes Back, I'm not even exactly sure who that is. Or Kayan Farlander. From Return of the Jedi or Sessi Doc Ibris. I mean, these are like not names. These are names that were not na used in the movie. They were used, or movies, I should say. They were used after the fact as a way to kind of give an expanded universe description, which I think is great. I don't have a problem with that. Um, it's just, you know, unless you're an avid reader, which I am not, I read some of the books. I mean, I do, I will say, I'm reading a particularly awesome book right now. Um, called Black Spire. I strongly recommend that you read Black Spire. It looks amazing. And, 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 and if you've been to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, it's even, it's cool because it's the first time you read a book where you're actually, you're familiar with the characters. You're familiar with the characters, but you're familiar with the location too, which, which is a whole other thing. So, all right, this is like going to be a just cut through the plastic here. Thank you. All right, let's go a little bit more. Oh, I can't believe he's unboxing all of the horror. It's okay, folks. You know what I'm doing. I'm just, my biggest thing I try to do is not hurt myself. That's the hard part. Because this plastic man is not easy to get through here. Sorry if it's so slightly off camera here. I'm just trying to. Woo! I'm not just unboxing. I am like destroying. I apologize for that. I didn't want to do that. But that's unfortunately the nature of these particular types of. Oh my god! <laughs> oh dear! Well, I'm just trying to get like much of it out of the way so that I can then focus on just getting these little babies out. Now, most of these, these are, look like they're using the uh, elastic ties, which are good. They're good because they're easy to snap out. And then usually you, you snap one out and then the figure typically, or you can just pull them <laughs> like that. You know what? I do have to get back to that. Uh, oh, this guy. This one almost looks like Wedge. Or, no, I'm sorry, Biggs. Should know the, I know, should know the difference between wedge and big. I'm going to put the helmet on these guys because, well, uh, yep, yeah, there it goes. Oh, do I have to? There it is. I had it on backwards. Um, what have you done? I'm backwards. Okay. And we have, interesting that they can just included this separate section for a few other items got what looks like one of the breathing tubes and then one singular weapon which I find very interesting one singular weapon hmm. very good okay and then I'm gonna take these oh, no. it's all right I'll clean up later get all this off the thing. all right so I was trying to do before but there's too much in the way Okay, so that's this dude. And then we got Kayan. He gets his own. And I said, a lot of times I'll put these in, uh, I'll put these in the boxes if I have like a little like plastic container that I store them in or a Ziploc or something. I put these in there just to remind me that they're not just. All right, so that's that. All right. Now, actually, I'm going to use this one more time just to kind of guide me through here. All right, so we got, all right, it looks like this is the dude who needs the, the breather. Oh, he also needs to get rid of some of his uh, plastic stuff here. Oh, my 
goodness, man. Hasbro, you're killing me with all this stuff. It's like, come on. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Entertaining television. All right. Let's get that back on him. Let's get this back on him. Put that in. And then this looks like it just kind of, oh, it, it dangles and then goes in on the side. All right. Cool. And then we'll give him a weapon. I think he gets this one. Okay. Ah, I knew that was going to be an issue. All right. Well, again, keep in mind, guys, these things were not, sometimes, again, they're meant more, they're sometimes meant to be more uh, kept in the package. And when I take them out, I sometimes, you know, collector beware when that happens. All right. I'll try to get another shot at that. This one I like her helmet because it's got the um, it's got you know they, it's it's got the bigger helmet which you never really see a Leku, or I should say a Twilik with the Leku is the here with the tails in the back there, you don't really see one of those pilots. Come on, All right? Back when they were doing full articulation, before they switched up to the other one. All right, and then we got this guy. Come on, he's he's almost he's definitely um position like you're supposed to put him in an x-wing so that's cool okay x-wing rogue squadron okay this one this one and this one all right cool so uh you know nice to get them out of there nice to get uh titanium uh grievous a little bit more free so that'll do it for this week's episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Check out all my other videos on YouTube. I drop them on Sundays and Wednesdays. Also check out Instagram. I've been starting to do occasional, not daily, but every couple of days I start to put a little short, you know, you know four or five minute videos featuring like one collectible here and there. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, check out my Tee Public store and all that information is in the, in the description. Until next time, may the force and the toys be with you.